1964 Ada, Michigan. The company looked a lot different then, from the products and their design to the Amway World Headquarters complex itself. Rich DeVos and Jay Van Andel were quickly building on their vision for Amway, and the company was expanding. Amway president Doug DeVos remembers it well. Dad and Jay wanted to make sure we were deeply rooted and had a strong foundation in those principles that stand the test of time. And while this was going on, something spectacular was also happening in New York City. The 1964-65 World's Fair had opened in Queens, and something at that event caught the attention of DeVos and Van Andel. I know that Dad and Jay were very interested in the exhibit, and they were interested in the principles and the long-term principles behind the idea of free enterprise. Known as the Hall of Free Enterprise, created by the American Economic Foundation, featuring displays on the principles of a free economy, and the centerpiece, the 10 pillars of economic wisdom or freedom. You, you know, economic principles are to a certain extent like uh, the, the laws of physics. They're, they're just there, and they have been studied and demonstrated for years and years. So while the exhibit was from the 1960s, the, the economic, the, 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 the uh, pillars of economic wisdom, these principles were written in the 1930s. And, and, and they still apply today. Principles like number one, nothing in our material world can come from nowhere or go nowhere, nor can it be free. Everything in our economic life has a source, a destination, and a cost that must be paid. Number two talks about the role of government, saying government is never a source of goods. Everything produced is produced by the people, and everything that government gives to the people, it must first take from the people. Doug DeVos remembers helping his dad at Amway meetings in those early days, putting up signs he memorized with a formula derived from pillar number eight. The way my father used to talk about was H-E plus N-R, human energy plus natural resources all multiplied by tools. And tools are the only thing that you can increase without limit, right? The tools, and really a lot of human energy goes into creating those tools as well. And while the tools we use nowadays have changed a lot with technology, DeVos believes the principles are as relevant today as they ever were. The World's Fair exhibit had such an impact on Rich DeVos and Jay Van Andel that they bought the exhibit itself and shipped it to Ada. In fact, the main World Headquarters building housing their offices was designed and built in the early 70s around the concept and was originally called the Center of Free Enterprise. It housed the exhibits and served as the home of the Free Enterprise Institute, a program funded by Amway aimed at developing economic educational programs for high schools and colleges. Over the years, the look has changed, but one thing remains the same. Out in front, spaced between the many international flags, are those original plaques with their 10 pillars written on them for all to see. Doug DeVos still likes walking along and reading them, especially a key message in pillar number 10. Because when you connect these principles, as it says, to the millions of progress-seeking individuals, and I always thought that spoke perfectly to Amway, because you don't need to have a special background or a special education to be successful. You just need to have the willingness to work and the desire to, to challenge yourself and do something different. And that, he says, applies not just to the Amway business, but to any business pursuit. Chris Copes, WHQ News.